Today for our final word, we will hear from several of our North Carolina's 2022 Regional Teachers of the Year. So as we look at all these wonderful teachers from across our state, um, I want to know what gives you hope? When I go into classrooms across North Carolina, I'm so excited to see culturally responsive teaching practices and culturally responsive curriculum, reading resources for our students. Our students are seeing themselves in their classrooms, in their environments, and the things that they're learning. I'm going to quote the great philosopher Barb Cuny, aka my grandma. She used to say to me every single day that there's greatness inside every day. You just have to look for it. And I kind of live by that motto. So what gives me hope is when I look around and it's the little little greatness that happens in the day, right? A kid picking up trash that wasn't theirs, a kid comforting a friend that fell down on the playground, a kid that is willing to stay extra inside to help somebody who might be struggling. Just those little things, those little moments, even on the hard days are so impactful. I have so much hope when I see beginning teachers and new teachers to the profession, because it reminds me that I was in that position at one point and I've gotten to this point. So as they learn and they're supported and they grow, there's so much hope for that next generation of educators and the impact they're going to have on the kids in our state. They have been so thrilled this year to visit so many classrooms already. Uh, our cohort has focused on collecting stories and then sharing those stories on a platform that can reach all teachers across North Carolina. And the cohort that came before us started a network of teacher leaders that essentially connects schools to districts, to regions, to state. And the fact that we are actually starting to break down those silos gives me a lot of hope. Teachers are starting to talk across district lines and across regional lines, and that is just really exciting. Leah Carper gives me hope, and Elizabeth Santamore, and Ashton Berry, and Ryan Mitchell, and Clinton Todd, and Abby Nobles, and Ashley Bandy, and Brian Link give me hope. Every time I work with these people, I'm reminded of how powerful educators are as a legion, as a group, and as a force. And every day we work so hard to move students forward. And I'm so glad that I'm reminded constantly by this team that I'm not alone in this work and that none of us is. One of the things that really gives me hope is when I see students who are wanting to and able to step up and be influential in their own environment who are also empowered to be leaders within the schools whether it's having a classroom role or whether it is being really involved in a club. One of my students last year wrote a $10,000 grant for the school. And when I see students who are given the freedom to do that kind of work and who take the reins and get to see themselves be successful, then I know that they are going to keep that success within themselves for the rest of their lives. And they'll, they'll leave our school systems being confident and productive people. And I can't ask for anything more than that. Each of you definitely gives me hope. And so um, I just am so grateful to be able to spend this time with you and for us to share your message, hopefully even further out into the world across our state. So thank you for everything you do every single day. Thank you for taking time to think and learn about education. That's all for today. And we'll see you next week.